Okay guys, what is up? Um, today I am here with a shader tutorial. Now today, I'm going to delete the four items that I need, but I'm going to show you how to do the shaders. So this is your thing right here for K&M shaders for FS19. Right click it if you have WinRAR or 7-zip or whatever it's most likely going to be the same I know Renoir is the same as 7-zip you just extract files okay and I already have it so I'm going to yes to all if you won't have to it'll just do it automatically and for you it'll probably show up at the bottom but I already have it downloaded and all that so I did that okay I'm going to minimize that for pleasantness to you guys and I just have this window open right now so you're going to want to click here and then, what I have it is in my programs file x86. That's my scene directory. I don't know where yours is, but that's where mine is. And I have a lot of stuff in here because I have a four-year-old computer that I like to use a lot. But you're gonna find Steam, and then you're gonna find Steam apps, and Common, whoop, not Depot Cache, and FS19. In here, you're gonna see in your x64 for your Steam, there is not gonna be any of these files in here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy it so I don't have to extract it again. Paste, but you could just drag and drop basically. If you have Steam, this is not all you have to do. You're gonna click up here, Control C, or if you want, right click and copy. I just like Control C because it's easier for me. Open with, um, yes. Open with Notepad Plus Plus is really only can be your only option for this. Um, you're gonna highlight, whoops, from that bracket to the end of, to the four, and then do that. Um, uh, actually, you're gonna want to delete that too, because it's gonna be in your way. I forgot about that. I'm sorry. And then this year you're new to the four as well. It's a good thing I picked up on that. Because that would have been screwing me. Uh huh. You just want to copy and paste your directory. It shouldn't be too very different for you, but yes. Close out of that. I have a lot of stuff open. I have a lot of things I do. And I. This should be. I'll uh, change that to 19. One. Open. Open 19. While it is opening, I will change that there. You're gonna see a black screen for a few seconds. I'm sorry, guys. It's just loading. But yeah, as you can see up top, it says reshade version whatever. Yeah, there we go. You're gonna hit shift, shift F2, I'm sorry. For whatever you want. And yeah. You can basically do whatever from here. Change it. I'll just do this with that. And shift F2 or X to get out. And we will go play on this map here. And check it out. I have a lot of mods in here, yes. I admit. And I'm going to add two more. Not that I actually use a lot of them, but it's nice to have them if you need them, you know. I'm trying to thin them out because I do have a lot, but they're both in the far, they're the John Deere section, yes. Off uh, without the series, and to a drive on 10 series. Okay. Here we go. It's going to load in. If I press scroll lock, you can see. 
difference. Um, is it not? Oh, it's frozen. You can see the difference in it. Gonna load all my things. Let's gonna load the issues. Yes, you just saw Vermeer V six oh five M or whatever. Yeah. I'm working on one of them for you guys. I'll show you that. I probably won't be able to release it because it's not my model. So yeah. It's a nice model though. I'll show you once we get in game, not that it's gonna be really great FPS because I have a lot of stuff on this map. Like I deleted that what that's not there actually. Like I have a house right there. I have a shed right there, a shed right there, and a shed right through here. And then a bunch of triggers and stuff back here. So yeah. I have a bunch of equipment here, a bunch of equipment in the shed back here, here in the shed, right around here, and over here I have a few pieces of equipment, and back here in that shed, so yeah. This is the only shed, and this small one here, but this one's like a garage, sorta. It's more suitable for the garage right there, and that is just, whatever. But yeah, I know it looks dull and bland. Wow, yeah. So much better. Let me get down so. Much better for the screenshots. Not too bad of an FPS drop. Yeah, I personally have no FPS drop, but everybody's gonna be different. Just give it a little walk around. That's empty for right now. I have a lot of. A lot of things. This shit's very empty too. I have a lot of it out in the field. Oh, well, tractor wanna go for a swim apparently. I need some people to let me know how the audio is. I'm trying to work out a good audio. I haven't found the right audio yet. Just let me know if my microphone's too loud or whatever it may be. And I'll fix it for you guys. I'm just gonna drive through the, the wheat right here. And yes, it's lagging because I'm right near the shop. I have 500 vehicles over by the shop. I admit. Here's a glimpse of the Vermeer. It's missing a few things. Oh my gosh, that texture. Get this. 17 lights. Uh, move. Oh. Yeah, the Vermeer 605M is missing a few things due to textures that I have to do, I believe. Yeah. And the 8245M. 
which is pretty sweet. And this is the only issue, really. It's not really an issue, it's just part of the shader. Because when you turn it off the shader, it does that. But yeah, I have a lot of vehicles. I have a couple module expresses. Some 635s over there with the Fontaine or whatever. XL80 MFG. Yeah, but this doesn't currently work, unfortunately. So, I'm gonna sell that really quick. To create less lag for me. I don't even know why I have that, if I'm totally honest. I guess I can sell that. I actually just tested a bunch of mods in this game, but... So... But yeah, this is my farming game. It's different than the one I posted a couple of videos on before. And, um, yeah. I haven't done much, but... I'm probably going to add the land stock and um, 360 yield center attacher to this. Because this is the, um, the only reason I like this is because of the wheel options and the front loader on an 8R. <laughs> as weird as that sounds. I know. It's odd, but it's nice. I'm gonna use my 8410 again. My baby, as I call it. Because I enjoyed it so much and. 17. Although this one I might suck because it's not. It's not the one like cutting in modding dead. I can't do that in there. Whoops. But yeah. Screenshots. Get this. And we're gonna be nice. I'm actually gonna sell these two, cause <laughs> it's really got off topic, but I'm sorry. Um, I'll just drive around a little more, show you if you want. You can stick around, but I don't blame you for leave. Not gonna lie. Yeah, not bad, not bad. I don't even know why I just have that, or even bought that, because dipping diesel stinks, if you ask me. Hmm. Oh yeah. With the mud textures, that's cool. I'm gonna actually start to get some of this ready because I have a lot of things I can do on this map. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and yeah, I'll see you in the next video.